Hi everybody! So this is a really pretty makeup look. It's a um, really pretty turquoisey blues and a really um, kind of nude mouse with some pink eyeshadow tricks that we did um, to make your lips look fuller. Um, this is a great look for dates or uh, maybe this is a good Valentine's look. I just thought it was fun and this blue is awesome. I love it. And this will make brown eyes, green eyes, every eye color look amazing. So um, let's get started. Okay, so all you need to get started is a black eyeliner, a black cream liner, a black, um, any kind of creamy black something that will stick to your eye. Um, this is a black cream liner from MAC in black black, the chroma line one. I'm just going to take a flat brush and to cover a lot of the area, I'm just going to paint this all over the lower part of the lid and up into the crease. Then I'm going to go back with an angled brush and fix any, just work it into the crease like that. Then we'll take our angled brush and our black and I'll go right back into the crease just to make it a little more precise. Go down from the corner and the smoother strokes you make the easier it'll be. Now I'm going to draw, see this curved line that goes up from the bottom of the eye? I'm just going to kind of continue that up a little bit and then I'm going to go up onto the bone a little bit so it makes the eye look a little more like elongated and exotic. So just make your line like that and then draw him to meet up, smooth him down, and you just go up onto that bone. And that's just how you create the illusion with makeup of your features looking differently. You just shadow and contour them. And this is just a cheap angled brush from the art store. So we just kind of want this little flare to go up a little, make him go a little more round. And now it's time for shadow. So I'm going to use some really fun colors. This is from the Urban Decay Alice in Wonderland palette, which I totally love. And I'm just going to take a flat brush, and I'm going to take this really turquoisey blue. Any turquoisey blue that you have will work. And I'm just going to put this on the inner corner of the eye like that. And spread him down. And I realize I just made a big mess with this black one. So I'm just going to kind of straighten him out a little. There we go. There we go. Uh, so then once you spread that blue around, just go into the corner, kind of tap it up, and then bring it slightly like the outer half of the eye. Then I'm going to take this kind of silvery color right here, Vorpal. Any silvery kind of grayish color will work. And I'm going to go right over the highlight center, this inner corner right here which is with the highlight of all eyes, and I'm going to work it down towards the very inner corner. And this layering is just going to give a really beautiful effect. So we're just going to gently smooth that out. Then we're going to take a brown and a fluffy brush, and you can use any browns. I'm going to mix some browns because I don't have the exact shade that I want. I'm going to mix, um, I don't know what these are called. I'm going to mix, this is cork, and then I believe this is, this is, oh gosh. It's Brun from MAC, so cork and Brun, any kind of dark browns are going to work. And I'm going to blend from in the inner crease slightly to the outer corner of the eyebrow. We're going to do that probably a couple times and work it in the crease. That way we're just softening that black line that we created right there and go out towards the edge. Then I'm going to take um, this nude color which is blank type from MAC, any nude kind of ivory color is going to work. And I'm just going to go up towards the underneath the brow bone. I'm going to take a peachy color because I'm going to, I want to warm it up. You don't want it looking too muddy and gray. Uh, this is Samoa Silk from MAC and I'm just going to go right here just to add a little warmth to this whole area. Then I'm going to go back here and add some dazzly color. This is Drink Me, Eat Me. It's a shimmery peachy color and I'm going to go right underneath the eyebrow bone just so it kind of gives a little pop of color right there. Then take your smudgy brush, and this is Jabberwocky. It's this dark black color. Also with your black, I just took it and I just went slightly underneath the eye right there. And it's just going to give it kind of some staying power that won't smudge with the black cream liner. And then meet it up to the top. Take your trusty black eyeliner. This is Smolder from MAC. And I'm just going to line the rims of the eye. This gives the smoldy look. <laughs> smoldy the smoky look to any eye. Good thing it's called Smolder. Maybe it'll help you remember. So any kind of black. This is kind of a black shimmery color. And I'm just going to fuzz out the bottom part here. Just soften it all up. 
just kind of blur it out a little bit and then do the outer corner as well. I also like to take the black and I'll go into the crease a little bit, just, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. You want to not get it on the lower part, but everything up above here you want to kind of draw into there. So you create just that illusion, illusion of smokiness and dimension to your eyeball. I'm going to take a little bit more of this brown and soften this line up. Then, for an extra impact and kind of drama thing, I did a little black liquid liner over here. This is from Lancome. It's 01. Any black liquid liner will work. And you're just going to start laying it right against the lash line. And I hold mine out sideways. And you just draw him along here. And then just meet up with that line. Just swoop it up to that point that you made with your black liner. Then I'll turn my brush over back over and create that little flary wing tip right there. So it just gives an extra, I'm going to make him a little thicker on the end here. So once you reach the middle point of your eye, I kind of make it a little bit thicker. It gives that kind of glammy retro look. Then you just kind of flare that little tip up right there. And I turn him over to make that real pointy. There's our little wingtip action. Um, then we're going to do eyebrows. I think you guys know how to do those. My favorite now is the paint pot, and this is in Quite Natural. It's a perfect brown. So I just draw what is on my face. I got something on my face. Okay, we're off now. So I just draw this along the top in a straight line from this peak to here. You can watch my video on how to, how to shape your eyebrows and all that stuff. I like mine kind of pin-up-y and pointed like this. And you use straight up. It depends on your face shape too, but um, I have a lot of like rounded features on my face, so the more angular my eyebrows are, the more complementary it is to your face shape. And if you have a very angled face with angled features, you want it kind of smooth and round. So I just extend this down a little past where they naturally grow, put a little bit of beauté, and we don't have mascara, so I'm going to curl my lashes and I'll be right back. Oh wait, I forgot to tell you one key part. We're going to blend this blue, so I'm just going to dab him with my fluffy brush, and you're just going to blend this blue up from the crease up here. And once you do that over the brown, it gives it a nice base, so it doesn't look like electric blue on your eyes. The brown will kind of neutralize it and keep it warm, but blend that color up. Now we will go get mascara. My new favorites, the Urban Decay Eyelash Primer Potion. Then once you have that, then my other favorite is the Big Fatty Mascara from Urban Decay. Now for some highlight on our cheeks. This is Shell from MAC. Um, Pearl is another pretty color and so is Luna, just depending on your um, skin tone. This has a little bit of peach and gold in it, so it's really pretty. I go down the nose, right here on top of the cheekbones, and then I'll do right there in the cupid's bow. It just gives a highlight effect and makes your lips look so full and gorgeous. Now I'm going to take Silver Dusk. This is Iridescent Powder from MAC, and this is like Fairy Dust. So I just kind of hit those areas. I just put the the um, the cream color on, and then we're gonna warm it up just a touch. With this is Posy from Mac, and it looks mine is so messy. I just tap it right here underneath the under like straight down from where your pupils are, kind of, and it gives the most beautiful pink kind of flushed glowy color. That's gorgeous. You can set it with powder if you want. And then my good old favorite, me and my good old blunt for contouring. I love this color. It's beautiful. And then I just work from the corner of the mouth to the top of the ear, but I just stay in this back portion right here. I don't go past the corner of the eye. That's what's going to give you your chisel look. And then you always want to contour the side of the face. Do the same thing over here. I have a humongously large forehead, so I'm going to contour around my hairline and blend like that. So feel free to leave comments on my big forehead. I don't really care. I know I've had them my whole life, so I'm just used to it. Okay, now we're looking bronzy, and I'm going to show you a trick for really fun, long-lasting lips, especially if you're going on a date. This is a Valentine's-y thing or something. This is one of my new faves. This is Naked from Urban Decay. Whoa, he needs to be sharpened. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and we're sharpened. So I'm going to line my lips like normal.
So now I'm going to take a darker color. This is HodgePodge from MAC. It's like a little more brown. Man, he needs to be sharpened too. Ta-da! So I'm just going to shade underneath here the HodgePodge and go up to the corners and kind of go up a little more. We want to make the illusion that our lip is so full and shadowy here because it's plumper. Same thing on the top. Go up slightly out to the edges. And then fill in the corners is what are really good. You're going to shade the corners. Ha ha ha. And you kind of want to draw like slightly outside your lip line and then slightly out and down. So you're kind of going up and then out to the sides like this. Now the fun part. This is one of my new, this is one of my favorite colors. Nude Rose from MAC is the D squared collection. It's just a pinky peach. Any pinky peach will do. So we're going to put that on in the center. And this is for a very nude kissable mouth because most guys get scared off like by bright red mouths. Like, oh, oh my gosh. Um, then I'm going to take a very beautiful pink eyeshadow, which is one of my favorite tricks. This is from the Urban Decay Book of Shadows 2, and this is Sphinx. It's this pink color. Any pink color like this will work. So I'm just going to take it on my finger like this, and then I'm going to just pat it on like so. I'm going to get a little more. Use a different finger because you don't need the cream from the lip liners or shadows to get mixed in your eyeshadow. I still might need a little bit more. Concentrate on this little angled cupid's bow up here. That'll make your lip look really full. And then slightly there. So it's a really matte pinky shimmer, and it will not come off. Like, you could drink and eat, and um, this is what I used to do to make lipsticks when I first started doing makeup that would be long-lasting, is I would um, put eyeshadow on as a lip color. Then, if you want, this is the matte look. Very matte, won't come off, it's beautiful. I'll take my hair down, so it's a little crazy hair, but I like it. Um, this is a gloss, this is Dazzle Glass, Soft Cream Dazzle Glass. So if you want to add some glossiness to it, we will do so, in case it feels too dry for you. And there is your really pretty blue and kind of nude, paley uh, mouth look. I think it's a good balance. Like, whoa, my hair gets so crazy. It's getting crazier. Um, but there's your look. I hope you like it. It's really fun to do, and it's a beautiful look. I wore this out last night when I went out with my friends, and um, when I woke up, I was like, whoa, it still looks good. This is That's a good test of good makeup. Um, so have an awesome day, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.